I play Indian pedal harmonium that was built for me uh, a couple of years ago and was shipped here to the United States. And I've mic'd it and it's being processed by tape delays and phasers and various synthesizing processors. It's got four sets of reeds. It has a ton of overtones. It's just like one of the most amazing instruments I've ever played. The traditional harmonium, usually you sit on the floor and you pump the organ with your hand. I've kind of brought it back to the European style in the way of, of having the pedals, but that's a practicality thing for myself because it enables me to have free of my hands and do a lot of other things with the electronics and whatnot. The sound is really accessing something both, you know, very big and also very ancient and also future. Like there's just, I'm so aware of dimensions kind of expanding, you know, with the way the sound is, you know. And there was always immersive. I mean, Jamie's music, I feel like, was always attuned to a corporeality and immersion um, that for me was always direct, you know, to that inspired me to move and so it's exciting as a person who enjoys movement to then have that enjoyment called out of you. Literally, it's called out of me. In performing with Miguel in the duo context, it really has allowed me to focus in um, on on what I'm playing um, in, in a way that, that I feel like I can really stretch time. When I'm performing by myself in a more music-oriented situation, you know, I feel like I'm supplying not only the audio, but I'm also this presence in this space, and that's it. There's those two elements. With Miguel, I don't have to be necessarily conscious about like my own presence as the focal point, because Miguel is, is obviously really taking care of that and it, I feel like we can really stretch into certain areas a lot better. This wasn't necessarily true for me at the time when we first worked together but it certainly is true for me now that I have a practice in improvisation. I think Jamie has a very profound <laughs> practice in improvisation. People often look at improvisation as being like the antidote to depth or something, they think, okay, improvisation is the thing when you when you don't know what you're doing, you improvise, which is <laughs> partially true, and that's uh, some of the fun of improvising. But they don't understand that even inside of that not knowing, that takes practice. There's a practice that that, that and there's a skill set that gets built around that. And I think part of that skill set is attentiveness and sense and uh, becoming sensitive to the situation. I feel really lucky to have the opportunity to perform again with Miguel. We lived together and worked together for about four years and it was a very intense experience on a professional and personal level. And now, you know, eight years passed and you realize like in a larger continuum of time of, of what you feel like you still gravitate towards and what's meaningful. And you feel that there's still a history to be created.